As the world continues to grapple with the coronavirus outbreak, the aviation industry is witnessing massive losses as travel restrictions have been imposed across the world. In fact, ghost flights have become the norm. Demand for air travel is expected to hit its lowest point since the 2008 financial crisis and several airlines are admitting to flying near empty flights. British airline Virgin Atlantic has confirmed that it has been forced to operate some near empty flights as bookings were hit hard by the coronavirus outbreak. The airline is now operating flights to retain its takeoff and landing slots at major airports. Now this is because under European law, if flights don't operate, the slot is then forfeited. The entire aviation industry is being jolted as coronavirus restricts movement across borders. Carriers like United Airlines, JetBlue and Lufthansa have announced new route closings in recent days. Australian airline Qantas says that it will cut down its international flights by nearly 25% as demand falls sharply. That's not all. British regional airline Flybe collapsed last week after a plunge in travel demand, putting nearly 2,400 jobs at risk. The International Air Transport Association, or AITA, has estimated that the virus could wipe out anywhere between $63 billion and $113 billion in worldwide airline revenues this year alone. These widespread airline cuts spell doom for the aviation sector. As the lethal coronavirus spreads across Europe and the U.S., demand for air travel falls sharply. In fact, it is now being reported that several airlines are introducing hiring freezes and asking the staff to take unpaid leave. Airlines are facing pressures to use their slots at major airports as they are flying near empty planes. Airlines are also lobbying hard for some of these aviation rules to be relaxed to avoid wastage of resources.